Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at a Switch. I do want to do more Switch reviews as well as Franken Switches. I, I enjoy Franken Switching and, and yes, there are a lot of factors that go into the sound of a keyboard, but a Switch is definitely one of them. Now this is an interesting one. Um, I placed an order recently with KP Republic and they sent me a bag of these and they were like hey if you want to review these they're on group buy which if you know me i'm not usually a fan of group buy but they from what i understand they're already produced and they will be shipping out or are shipping out already so i believe that they're, this is really just a pre-order but i'm not here to talk about that I'm talk i'm here to talk about the switch so it's a linear switch that from what i can understand comes in two colors um this blue which is a uh, i would say almost the blue the, the blue and the pink remind me of baby gifts you know a boy or a girl that's the you know a boy blue girl pink girl pink you know that's kind of what it reminds me of it's a very smooth linear um, uh, switch now i used to be linear gang i still like a lot of linears but I prefer tactiles. But anyway, this one is made with a P3 stem and both the upper and the lower housings are made out of PA66. It has an 18 millimeter gold plated spring and it has an operating force of 48.5 with a total bottom out force of 63.5 grams. It has a pre-travel of two millimeters to a travel of 3.8, meaning that it is a long stem. So you should not experience any sort of north facing interference if you're with, you know, using north facing uh, LED keyboards. So <clears throat> this switch reminds me a lot of but a heavier version of uh, the Akko Silver. It's very smooth. It it's it's nice to to click. It has a nice tap out, um, bottom out sound. It's not too high pitched. It's not too low pitched. I think it's it's a nice switch. Now, granted, uh, right now it's fifty nine dollars for ninety of these switches, so they're not cheap. Uh, but you know, some folks. Might, might like them. Now, they are, if I haven't already mentioned, the Zero G Balance and JWK uh, Balance, I believe. Zero G Cross JWK Balance. I, I don't know who Zero G is. It could be a designer. And if I don't, if somebody knows, let me know. Um, so I knew very little about these switches, but I like them. Uh, if they were a little bit cheaper, I actually probably would buy them and try a whole pack of them. But today, they only, like I said, they only sent me uh, six of these, so not much of a sound test I could do. I mean, I guess I could load up one of my macro pads. But anyway, it's still it's still nice to be able to touch and play with a different spring and or a different switch, and I guarantee you I'm probably gonna make Franken switches out of these at one point or another. But I do prefer gold-plated springs. They're usually not as pingy, although in this case, they're is a little bit of ping so i would definitely recommend if you're going to get these that you would lube them up um, but because of the material now i'm not too familiar with a p3 material but it feels very similar to palm it's soft it's slippery it's it really it's it feels like it's oiled when it's not this one hasn't been lubed but it's that I don't know how to explain it. It's just a slippery feeling. It's like slippery plastic. So that's probably adding a significant amount um, to the smoothness of the switch. So despite being tactile gang, uh, I got to say this is a pretty decent linear switch. So, but again, if you get one of these, I would definitely recommend that you get it that you loop these um, if you're going to use them they sound much better and it gets rid of that spring ping they have in there so in here i've got on this side where the e and the r sit these are lubed switches where the t and the y sit those are unlubed switches 
so I'm just gonna give you just a real quick test I'm not gonna do that whole setup with the camera and everything like I said not much I can do with just six switches but I wanted to see if I could at least give you guys an idea of it so we're on a back and echo 60 all I've done to this is a uh, Tempest tape mod, and I also did uh, the Plumber's tape mod on the stabilizers. So I'm just going to flip down the microphone and go ahead and give you a quick sound. All right, so I'm going to start with the T and the Y. These are both the unlubed stock JWK Cross Zero G balance. These are both blue and pink, but like I said, I believe they're the same. I didn't hear or see or feel any difference. These are blue. Stock. Well, I do hope that you enjoyed the review. Uh, like I said, it's easier to do a review when I have a full set of switches, but I do have some that I have lined up that I'd like to do reviews on, and I got some coming in that should be interesting. Um, the Akko switches, creams, the Cream series, I'm gonna be trying those out as well as some other ones. Um, so until the next transmission, keep calm, keep word on.